The mission statement of Harvest Church is seeking the heart of Jesus and serving the hearts of people in His name. Back in my day with the Robert Weber Institute for Worship, I was exposed to the Anglican way. And it's not the only way, but it is a robust way. It's a historical way. It goes back to the beginning. You know, we read in the book of Acts where the people were devoted to gathering together to hear the apostles' teaching right, and to pray and to break bread. Well, that's liturgy. So that's the Anglican way. It's historical. Right? It's anchored in the scriptures. It's anchored in prayer. And it's anchored primarily climax of the service in the Eucharist where we share in the body and blood of Jesus together. The Lord meets us at his table. The Lord strengthens us in his table. He meets us in mercy and in grace and sends us out. Walking into Harvest was unlike walking into any other church that I have stepped foot into. It was welcoming. The people were fantastic. It's like we knew each other for years as soon as we walked in the door. The welcome that I received was so amazing. I felt like I was I was away from home and I'm coming back home. Well, the fact that it's a new church, it's a plant, and everybody's new. That's, that's what makes it different at this point. It is in the Anglican tradition, and most of us are not from Anglican, so we all kind of learned at the same time, and we've all come to absolutely love every aspect of it. In an area where so many people have some level of familiarity with church, I think a church like Harvest stands out because there's really a level of deepness in terms of theology and liturgy that a lot of people are hungry for. So our adult faith formation classes are structured in a way where people learn books of the Bible and they also learn about the creeds, church history. They are able to learn about the Ten Commandments and the Beatitudes and how those kind of come together from the Old and New Testament and what it means for us as Christians to live our lives practically in the world as salt and light in the earth. Life groups are our primary discipleship vehicle at Harvest Church. Life groups meet in homes generally. We gather together every single week. We try not to even take summers off because we don't want to get ourselves out of the habit. You know, Hebrews 10, 25 tells us, let's not neglect to meet together, but encourage each other to continue to walk this thing out, this thing called life, this thing called faith. So our life groups meet in homes. They always, it's usually a potluck meal that's brought. And then we just laugh and hang out. And then we do a Bible study usually. And uh, we pray together. We encourage one another. Children's Church here begins as the children walk in the door. I believe they should feel welcome, loved, and safe when they walk in our doors. I believe the children are not only the future of the church, but they're facing a future that can be scary at times and can be challenging, and they can build their faith on that hope and on the truth of Jesus Christ. When we came to Harvest and we felt like Harvest was doing a lot of things the right way. We knew it was going to grow, and we were just so excited to get in, you know, on the ground floor and be a part of that, especially as one of the first families that came here with little kids. We just knew it was going to be a really special experience for them growing up at Harvest. One of the things that makes Harvest different is pretty much that they have taken an old model that's rooted in ancient tradition, but also did not neglect modern day. It's bringing the old and new together, balancing that out so you can take an old truth and make it applicable to a modern world. The best of modern music that, that is really biblical, anchored in discipleship, anchored in the person of Jesus, exalting Him, but also being rooted in things that Christians have done since the very beginning. It's been a, a great environment for me to learn and grow as a young Christian. Just get to grow a little bit more every day in my faith, and a lot of that's been fostered right here in this church. So the church, even though small, it's so powerful. And you can really see the Holy Spirit present in this, in this church, in this community. That's what makes us unique. We're anchored in the sacraments. We're anchored in the scriptures. And we're still filled and fueled and empowered and sent by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm.